Good morning. Hey, family. Good afternoon to you. Welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. You know, I just want to touch on real quick. Because we already know the history of this country. We also know what our ancestors been through. We also know what the dominant society has gone through to keep us locked in the bottom uh, uh, cast. So it doesn't need embellishing and it doesn't need exaggeration. The facts are, they stand by themselves and they stand alone and like the truth. And I'm really getting tired of ne- of us doing this because what happens is it's almost like that story that your parents told you when you was little about crying wolf. Would y'all agree? I mean, tell me, if you keep saying something happened long enough and you know you're lying and you know or, or you don't want to take responsibility, your situation will be like Fonnie Willis and the two brothers here that went fishing and they want to make it a fishing while black case. Like Fonnie wants to make it a DA versus white people. And I knew when she went to that church, I, I already knew what time it was. But I made can't articulate this the way a lot of people can but what I'm trying to say in my meager way is we can't keep talking about white white supremacy stands alone it does its own damage but when we mess up and screw up and do all kinds of shit crazy and then blame white supremacy I have a severe extreme problem with that Example, my friend and I, my fishing partner, we go all over the state of Wisconsin fishing. All over. All over, all over. And I don't think it's a a little county. It may be a few that we haven't gone through. We've been as far up as Cable. For those of y'all who know the state, up there by Superior, up up by uh, Minnesota. We've been to Minnesota. That's all, all the areas in Wisconsin, La Crosse, every place. And if it's the one thing we do is we make sure we have our license. Okay, that's the first thing. If you're not going to have your license, don't go fishing. Please. Because when you, unless you sitting in the car, and you don't have the money, the means to buy, you cannot be standing outside that vehicle with a pole in your hand or a pole by you and say, oh, I wasn't fishing. That doesn't that doesn't cut it, okay? Because we make too many sacrifices going, get broke, because we know we can't fish in this town, especially... In Wisconsin, you can't fish, make sure you dot the I's and cross the T's. Now, if they come messing with us and we're legitimate, then it's a lawsuit if we survive these crazies, okay? It's going to be a lawsuit. However, if you out here fishing and calling white supremacy and calling it racist, but you so bold as to take the fish and jump in the vehicle and go to the boat landing and dump the fish out and then think that you can get away with that and then say, fishing while black, fishing, you are an embarrassment. You are a damn embarrassment for, to those of us who dot the I's and cross the T's and don't take our asses out there unless we got a fit. The damn thing don't cost for what? What is it? Because I ain't go lad fishing for the last couple of years. I don't think it's no more than $30. But 
but you out there catching. <clears throat> I know some of y'all saying you shouldn't have license in the first place to have to fish. This is God's country. I agree with all that, but that ain't what we talking about. And that's not what the law say. So if you want to get arrested, then you keep that train of thought and throw your pole out in the water without a license. It would be suicide in the state of Wisconsin to do something that damn ridiculous. That's all I'm saying. And for these brothers now that risked it that almost could spend a year in jail, like Fani, about to get kicked off the case and then run to the church and talk about white supremacy, that shit ain't cutting it. And I suggest that all of y'all out there that want to play that race card, come on. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for white people doing it after you for no reason. And I ain't got time to be listening to your black ass talking about white people picking on you when you know you ain't right. Now, I don't know about y'all, but that's how I feel about it. And I just got to keep it real. So I want to know who understands what I'm saying. If you like what you hear, subscribe and share the channel. And I'm going to see you in the next video.